poignant date. Um, and this is going to be the quickest introduction ever for a video, <laughs> one of my videos. Hooray, you all say, because it's after three o'clock. I was supposed to be down here a couple of hours ago and, you know, it's like one thing and another. I couldn't make it till now. And what's happened now is not only is the light starting to go, but it's starting to get blue and cold. So I am, um, all I'm going to do today, I'm literally just going to look around the allotment, see what's what um, at this time of year in our new plot. And then we'll come back and have a little chat. I think I've got some gloves on. Um, come back and have a little chat and I'm going to tell you about my favourite video that I made. I think it's like the part of this favourite video tag thing that's going round. So I've been nominated, but I'll tell you more about that later on. Okay, so let's get out there and get in the light and uh, see what's on. We start at the very beginning. Here we go. Stepping out of the shed, we've got a pile of slabs. Um, <laughs> which is very interesting, but we have got you can see, I still haven't finished edging this little bit here. But now, as soon as you walk out the shed, supposedly in the lighter months, the warmer months, this will all be flowers and herbs and pollinating plants, so it will be a very pleasant place to be. These slabs will have moved by then to become a seating area, which I'll show you about in a moment. And I hope you can bear with me here. A very noisy crow going over. All these things are still to go in. Um, but I'm hoping, I've got this French lavender that I picked up very, very cheaply from Morrison's ages ago. Oh, I'm having a right little shake. Um, and I'm hoping that's sheltered enough to survive the winter. I suppose it all depends what sort of winter we're going to have. But yeah, I'm not going to cover that or take it in or anything. It's up against a wall. Should be okay. <clears throat> so, yes, excuse me, I've had this cough for weeks. Um, so that's that. Then this is, look, this is the messy bit you don't usually get to see. All of these things have got to go in. That was the raised bed that's got some herbs in and it looks completely dead at the moment but again that should be beautiful next year um and but what we concentrated on last time we came up if i back up a minute you'll see look at the mess hey eh? hey eh? this usually gets edited out right one two three four water butts on this side and that is because our water is turned off now and won't come back on again till may i don't think so yeah, we've got to collect as much as we can, which is a good idea anyway. We've then got, before we even get to this greenhouse, um, we've got these bushes here. Now, I was very excited about them when we first arrived, because we've got a junior, juniper bush over there. We've got some sort of gooseberry in there. It's like a red gooseberry. And we've got like a, I don't know what it is, but something gets like a little yellow flower on there. But actually, the more I've thought about it, I don't know if I'll do this or not, but I think we might be taking at least half of that out so that we can make this into a little potting area. Because then it'll be right by the shed and next to the greenhouses and it'll be quite nice to have a bit of outdoor space. Not just to do potting up on, but if things need hardening off to bring them outside and put them there. It gets a lot of sunshine, believe it or not. Um, so it should be a nice place to be. But yeah, I think these bushes, I really don't like taking out um, established things, but I think that will make a slightly better use of the space. And I must say, I've been inspired by Sean over on his channel. He's got a lovely potting area outside his shed. Um, it just seems like such a good idea. So thank you, Sean, for that inspiration. Um, I'm sure you've all been to Sean's channel. I'll put a link anyway. I'm sure you won't need it, but I'll put a link anyway. And uh, so that is the idea for there. So we're going to have some sort of, take those out, some sort of pet, potting, <laughs> petting bench. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's allowed on the allotment. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm blushing. Um, so <laughs> we might still be able to keep the juniper in 
but it's certainly these bits are coming out. Yeah, if we can keep them and move them somewhere else, we will do. Lights fading, Jane. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Right, okay. This will be paved in here. This hasn't changed at all. I've got all the pelagonians that I did last time. And yeah, that's all cleaned up and ready to go in the spring. And I'm going to swing you around. I'm going to shut that door and show you. Look at the mess. Oh. This side. Now, I am itching to get going on this um, grapevine. I've been watching all sorts of videos as to how to prune it this time of year. So, yeah, very, very short. Oh, look, these are just, they're just ready. They're coming off on their own. Um, looking forward to tidying this up clipping it back to the shape I want it to be and uh, yeah, pinning it right back so oh look autumn autumn in the greenhouse um yeah and the only other thing that's in here are some lettuce that Mike put in oh over a week ago now out of one of those one pound salad packs he's got some there and some there you see I think they're actually gonna come so, yeah, not a lot going on in there. You can see we're mid-tidy. Also, I want to edge these paths, put some sort of edging down so we can top up the compost either side. So, that's it, we're at the greenhouses. Right, onward and upward, literally. Um, this is where the seating area is going to be. If I go back a bit. I hope this isn't too wobbly. This is where the seating area is gonna be. Uh, here, which would be quite nice. We're very lucky we've got space to do this. And then if I turn you this way, we've got more water butts. And then here we've got a strawberry bed. Not very interesting. Here we've got a bed that is ready for our raspberries, I think we're going to put in there. Oh, it could be currants. We've got some currants and raspberries coming. On this side, let me back up. Oh, this is terrible filming. This is certainly not going to be one of my favourite videos. We have got a tayberry and a thornless blackberry. And we have interplanted with lots of strawberry runners. And I've even got some garlic in there. Going up the middle. Try not to tip over the hose pipe. Um, mid... Early, mid and late blueberries there. Oi, there we go. I told you the light was going. My hand's going as well. Getting numb. And then another bed that is covered and ready for the... Oh, there's me. Hello. Ready for either the ras raspberries or currants. Can't remember which. This bed. We have got... I've shown you before. We've got our chard. We've got sorrel. And... Perpetual spinach brassicas at the top and then this is the garlic which I was worried about because if you remember I took all the leeks up because of the allium leaf miner and I've replaced them with broad beans and covered them in hops but in here I've got my um, my garlic let's just have a look and see how it's getting on can't see any leaves curling yet oh. You know what? It just might be okay. I really hope so. So with fingers and everything crossed that that isn't going to get cut this year. Um, and yeah, so I think the, that's the main difference we've made in the few months we have had is getting these beds not only ready but we've got them planted up with stuff as well. So very very pleased with that right I'm gonna do a big swing apple tree we transplanted then we've got our four rotational plots that I've shown you before one two three four these lower beds have got green manure that one we planted green manure a few days ago so that's on the way that one is awaiting a whole thing of just um, cow manure and then we have got our lovely, lovely central russet. 
which is there. I don't know if you've got my shadow on here. I think I'm okay. Okay. So, we're now going to walk right. You know, I'm desperate to start pruning. Oh, there I am again. Desperate to start pruning um, these trees that we've inherited because... <laughs> yeah, it just got stuck on a branch. Um, yeah, just to get them the shape we want and uh, make them more productive. But what to do about this giant apple tree, I don't know. We might, I mean, it's really, we're keeping that just because it's a lovely big tree. Not really for the crops, but we might have a go at just tidying it up a bit. But yeah, so then we've got this path, way wibbly wobbly path. I should have one of those cameras that you can just put on your head. Make life a lot easier if you could walk along with two hands to balance. Yeah, you can see all the apples, all the apples on the ground that I keep telling myself will be fine and they'll enrich the soil. And then we're up at the top end. So, our top shed, which is basically just a, a storage area at the moment. And back, back up. Back down the plot. So not a lot to see, quite windy. I'm hoping this isn't too windy for you to hear. Um, oh look, Mike's just arrived. Yeah, but considering when we took this on, we didn't think we'd get anything done this year. I'm really quite happy about the way it's progressed. Um, I'm progressing. And so over the next few months, we are going to, hello. Over the next few months, before the mad sewing season starts, we want to concentrate on getting the seating area sorted out. And we're having a bit of a debate about this. When I say debate, I mean complete argument. I want to put a pond here, and Mike doesn't. We've already got a little sunken bathtub in there, as I've shown you before. Um, that's supposed to be to keep the newts happy um, so we're going to try and enlarge that space but Mike has quite a severe reaction to mosquito bites so he's quite wary of what's going to happen so you're not keen are you Mike? I'm not keen. <laughs> How not keen are you? Very not keen. Mosquitoes swarming all around you, stagnant water. Oh but think of the frogs croaking. No electricity to make a lovely sort of little pond, uh, no. uh, sorry pump regenerate. Yeah you don't need that Mike, think of the pleasure. Think of the pleasure of the warm, calm water. Yeah, I'm not going to win that one, am I? Vietnam anyway, films. so that's all I'm going to show you today. I'm going to get back in that shed because it's blooming freezing. And I'll tell you... Well, we'll just have a bit of a chat. OK. <laughs> that's probably not the most inspiring video I've ever done. And I can only apologise, but I did say it was just going to be a quick look around the plot and see the state of play at this time of year which is what it was and to be honest there's not a lot going on nothing particularly exciting the fact those lettuce are um still okay haven't been got by slugs is good um the garlic seem to have escaped the leaf miner which again is good but other things are going on you like to think beneath the surface the broad beans are in now um what else is in? Strawberries will be, well, they're all done. Fruit trees, most of them are in. Yeah, the green manure's getting on with things. So, Pete, it is that time of year, really, where I can't really show you anything interesting. I know other people do on their videos, but as I say, I'm just thrilled that we've actually got somewhere and we've managed to feel like um, we're about, Mike's waving at me. <laughs> um, yeah, feel like we've actually got somewhere this year because I thought it would just be all systems go in March and we'll be starting from scratch but yeah we've got some sort of um structure now which is what I wanted hope you can see oh here she comes I hope you can see me because I really can't see as far as that um that lens hello gorgeous I really can't see as far as that thing and I don't know if you've got my head on but never mind it's still there um yes so that's a look around the plot um I was just about to say it's probably too cold for Tiddles to even come out, but we haven't seen you for a week, have we, Tids? Oh, she's gone. Um, it's, oh, she's going to pester me now. I know it's a bit of a love it or hate it thing with cats. I really don't encourage her. She just likes the camera, honestly. Um, and a tickle. She likes a tickle. And she completely throws me off every time. What did I want to tell you? What did I want to tell you? Meow. Yeah. 
yes, thank you. Go. Yes, the favourite video challenge. Okay. Roots and Refuge, and I must admit, I still haven't visited their video channel, so I can't tell you too much about them. But all I know is they have started off this challenge where they're asking people to talk about or yeah just talk about the favorite video that they have made and um, and then tag three other people to do the same on their channel okay so it's a bit of a chance for us to sort of share other channels and give shout outs to channels that you may not have seen yet and, and uh, to be honest it, it, Kelly at Kelly's Kitchen Garden has nominated me really kindly Kelly is lovely. I've only just come across Kelly and her channel and um, she's only done a few videos so far and I, I certainly haven't caught up with all of them but already I think she's she's just lovely. She's really down to earth. She's done, uh, she did a book review. She's got her daughter with her who she um, she does some, some planting with and yeah, very warm very lovely person to watch so I'll certainly be catching up with some of Kelly's videos and I'll, you know I'll put a link somewhere and if you can go and have a look at her videos as well I'm sure she'd be you know she'd be really really welcoming um so yeah so thank you Kelly but I must admit it it gave me a bit of a conundrum because I've been making videos now for three years I think um both at this plot and at, at the old plot but I haven't made that many. I tend to be about once a fortnight, something like that. I mean, I know some people are, you know, three or four a week, which is fantastic. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit, a bit slow on that thing because they're all so long. I'm going to try and think about making them shorter. It, it just doesn't work. I should do more shorter videos, but then it would just be me talking and there wouldn't be time to show you anything at all because even though I try not to talk too much this always happens anyway so so I did have a little a little peruse of my back catalogue and there were two that stood out um one was one I made a, a Christmas video that I made I'm, I'm not nominating this one but I'm just saying it was a Christmas video that I made two years ago about what things are like it was a bit of a the night before Christmas thing about the plot but actually the one I want to I've missed, why, am I, why am I talking about nominating the one I want to mention is um, one that we did in August this year at this plot and the reason that one sort of standard at the st let's see too cold the reason that one stands out to me is because it's not our usual format it's it's just Mike and I basically sitting over there in some chairs and talking about ideas we've got about the allotment about our, you know just after we'd taken this on about how excited we were are oh, and you know what we were looking forward to and yeah for me that's a nice one to look back at because it's only a couple of months ago but already things have changed quite a lot and um and also i think i mentioned on the video it's half past seven at night and we're sitting there in shorts which way <laughs> when we've got weather like this although it's not desperately cold um yeah it seems a bit a bit magical in some ways so yeah so i think i would i would choose that one as my favorite video that i can really think of at the moment that stands out to me so yeah i'll put a link to that somewhere it's a nice catch-up video um as well so that's my favorite video as far as i can think so far but what I am going to do I'm going to no nominate three other people to do their favorite video and I know many of the people I was going to nominate have already been nominated so please don't take offense if your name isn't there I'm sure you won't um, but the first person and I'm sure it'll have been nominated by now is Tony C Smith Tony is an absolute hoot. He's got a allotment up in the northeast, uh, fairly near the seaside, and yeah, he does. He tends to do at least a couple of videos a week. He does very well. He does very well, and he's just lovely. His allotment is great. He's got a real sense of humour, which comes over in his um, 
in his videos. He always tries to do something a little bit different. So yeah, yeah, it'll be a real treat, real treat for you to go and see Tony. So if you haven't already subscribed to Tony, go over and just take a look at his channel and see what you think. The second person, oh my goodness. Oh, crikey, I've forgotten my third. Right, okay, my second is uh, Sean. Um, Sean J. Cameron. Sean, I don't know what your video goes under now. Is it gardening tip? I don't know. I don't know. I will put a link, but I'm sure you probably all know Sean. He's just past 30,000 subscribers. He's doing so well, and he's been there for years. He's done some brilliant, brilliant work. And uh, he was, yeah, he was the first video that I started watching when, um, I, oh, Mike's coming in now. I need, the, I need the extending apple picker. It's here. Can I have it? Have you got an extending apple? Oh, I thought you had. Yeah, well, you're going to have to open it again. How do you open it again? You, you can, you're going to have to leave and work that out, Mike. Well, this is Mike? Good. Mike? Yes? I'm very sorry. <laughs> I just need some scissors. Never work with children, scissors. animals, or Mike. Hello. Okay. Okay. I forgot what I was saying. Sean, yeah, yeah, Sean's videos. He's got hundreds, and he was one of the first ones. Did I say one of the first ones? Maybe the first one I started watching um, when I started watching YouTube videos, allotment YouTube videos. Ooh, a while before we even took an allotment on. So, yeah, everything, all sorts and everything over on Sean's channel. Um, some really really good stuff um and like i say he, he's taken on a new allotment this year and he's he's doing it brilliant he's doing it all on his own and he's doing a really really good job so go and see sean if you haven't already i will put the link below sean's allotment garden sean's allotment garden that's it and blow me the third one oh jane no it's gone it's absolutely gone. But I tell you who has just sprung to mind, and again, great channel, really, really down to earth, and that's Terry um, at Robotic Allotment Gardener. He has, he's always been supportive. He's got a great allotment. He does proper allotment things like uh, wormeries and plant food and, you know, all making his own stuff. And yeah, really nice man, wealth of knowledge, um, it was him who um, I put a link in a couple of videos ago about the leaf miner. Um, yeah, yeah, just worth worth visiting. Go and say hello to Terry. He's uh, yeah, you won't regret it. He's got some great videos up there and really lovely fella. And I know if I can remember the other person, I might add a fourth. But that's it. That's can't remember the first one already. Tony, Sean, and Terry. Probably all nominated already. Probably won't thank me for nominating them. <laughs> but yeah, if you're new to all this YouTube allotment videos thing, they're well worth going to see. So yes. Right, other thing I want to say before I go is um, the allotment swap. The final date for the allotment swap is this Friday, 16th. Oh, crikey, can you believe? It's three weeks, three and a half weeks ago since I last talked about it. Time is really, really rushing by, I find, at the moment. Um, but yeah, Friday at six o'clock UK time. Um, so still time to get your details over to me and I'll put you into the swap. And basically, you know what it's about. It's just a case of I will then pair you up with someone else who's shown an interest and you will be able to send each other something allotment related. It could be seeds, it could be tools, it could be equipment, it could be, I don't know, it's up to you. Um, but I will pair you up with someone else, hopefully in the same country, <laughs> but not completely guaranteed. And yeah, it'd just be quite nice, nice to see what the outcome is, you know. Um, there's a really nice group at the moment. Um, we've got about 30 odd people involved. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit of working out but it's gonna be good fun trying to get everyone together. So yeah, that'd be nice. And the way to do that is, if you go to my Facebook page, which I'll put a link of below, and send me a private message, okay? Because basically you, want, you don't want your details 
on a Facebook thread. So send me a pri private message, which is basically click my name or my funny little face in the round photograph thing, and you should get an option to message me. Some people have commented that they're not on Facebook. You can also contact me um, by sending me a private message through Instagram. Oh, I've got Mike and Tiddles loitering now outside. I'm trying to be quick. I'm trying to be really quick. What do you want now? What do you want? Know what you want? Yeah, go, go away with your tool. Oh, that sounds bad. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if you, do, if you can't, if you're not on Facebook, you can private message me through Instagram. Um, or you used to be able to send messages through YouTube and you can't do it anymore, I don't know why. But um, yeah, so that's that. What have I done? I've told you about the plot. I, I've shown you around the plot. I've told you about my favourite video. I've nominated three more and I've told you about the allotment swap. And as I say, I, I could be on a complete slant because there's something wrong with my tripod. It won't, it won't steady up. So every now and then, even if I start off straight, I might sort of gradually go like that, which is pretty much what I do in real life anyway. But you might in real life, I'd just be doing that. I'd be going for a nod. Anyway, it looks like someone here is demanding just a little bit of attention. So, with that cat's tail up oh, my nostril, <laughs> to bits you know I do love it to bits I know she's a pain um I'm gonna go yeah short and sweet not brilliant but bit of a catch-up and yeah see you soon okay oh oh you see I can never quite go can I um hopefully we will be getting some fruit bushes delivered soon we should be getting our currants and our raspberries delivered soon so hopefully next time we see you we'll be able to plant show you planted we will be able to show you how we plant those and also we'll be getting on with some of the winter tasks like doing the pruning of the fruit trees so so yeah so i've got this little bundle now keeping me warm i'll be here for the next 20 minutes now but uh, <laughs> i will go that's a bit strange okay and uh, yeah hope you're all keeping warm i hope you you know wherever you are you've had some lovely lovely autumn sunshine because when it does shine it's beautiful and i'll see you soon okay thank you bye Thank you.